What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, this is this is tough for me, guys. I really love Lawrence Fishburne as an actor, <clears throat> as a stand-up black man in the entertainment industry. Just doing things the right way, just the, from the old school. You know, I, I like guys from the old school, not like you young punks of today. Um, I, I, I just, I just don't. You know, but, but, I'm just kidding. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just an old man talking trash, right? But I like Lawrence Fishburne. Unfortunately, his, his daughter, got into certain issues when she was young. Despite, despite. Being the daughter of Lawrence Fishburne. She she got into the adult industry in her youth. Doing porn, things like that. I don't know why she did that, but she did. He was pissed off. Okay. And their relationship was um really bad. Okay. And um it, it 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 it's also been the case with like folks like Tom Cruise, Dr. Dre, uh, even Meghan Markle and her dad are not that cool. But basically, she got cut off after doing that porn thing. And remember, Floyd Mayweather' daughter got arrested and all that. So now Montana was doing the porn. Okay. She wanted to become a porn star and went into it at 18. All right. She was always comfortable with her sexuality. And she she didn't want to act. She wanted to do porn. Okay. Now, the problem is. She started then stripping. That's that's terrible, right? I mean, you go from porn into stripping. Then she was arrested in Texas, uh, somewhere actually, for DUI in 2017. Now she is reconfiguring her life. She believes that her relationship with Fishburne can be reconciled. Now let me just say this. <clears throat> your kids, and I know I know, I know a lot of guys are in the red pill and the manosphere, and if your daughter <clears throat> does porn you want to cut her off right and and that's how we can feel i know but uh, uh, thus who have grown up in america it's hard to feel like that giving up on your kids and stuff like that right i'd, I'd be dead right now if my mom would have gave up on me that's just honestly true i thank god for the fact that um she didn't and this is one of the reasons why when i come across challenges in my business with certain employees or things like that, partners, I don't give up on them. Um, and that's really been something that's helped me. But, and I'm glad that they have a relationship. I don't care what nobody says, right? Uh, she's now into wellness, home, body scrub, facial. Um, Okay, this is one of those, you know, whatever. I won't say anything. It's still like, more sexual stuff, kind of like healthy living, I mean, yoga, meditation, natural eating. Okay, that kind of thing, whatever. But what does it show me? It shows that that being a 304 doesn't pay. Thotting it up doesn't pay. There is a timeline on that. It's just as dangerous of a career as an athlete athletes at least when you're an athlete at least get into broadcasting you can at least open up academy what then do you have when you're out of porn if you're not producing it anymore right at what 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 happens for ig models after they're out of their zone do they have a retirement plan for that and the reality is is that when they hit that wall it comes hard. Now you have to reconfigure yourself. And this is one of the reasons why I will say this. 
once it comes to a lot of ladies and their career choices, I don't begrudge career choices and skills. I don't. I begrudge having an attitude or thinking you're better than something or somebody or a black man in particular because of, you know, you feel like you're too educated. You feel like you're too good. That's the problem I have with you. All right. But now if we're dealing with the fact that, Hey, I'm going to, as a woman work on my own skill sets, whether or not I want to be a wife or not, I'm going to continue to still do the right thing. I want to work for myself. I want to be in the industry. I want to depend on my skill set and which many women do. And they are good at it. You, you should be surprised how, how great women are in, 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 in every industry. I'll be sitting here lying to you. It's it, especially organization, administration, medical doctors, attorneys. What? Like the best attorneys you can get are some a women. That's what I want. I want a black woman attorney. So when one of y'all hit me with an allegation, I'm going to get her on your ass. Them black women attorney, are you crazy? <clears throat> Look, they will scare the bejeebus out of you. They make shit happen. They don't play no games. At all. They don't play no games. Zero games are played. So, the, I, I appreciate that. The, the problem is this. You thought you were going to do it the way of, of sexuality. And you find out now that once that's gone, it doesn't work. Let me tell you this. Um, guys like Roy Jones, Zab Judah. Roy Jones is a great boxer, right? But he relied too much on his reflexes and skill. Um, not skill, talent. Zab, the same thing. Reflexes, power, all of that speed. The issue, the issue with that is this. You're not skilled, right? So once your reflexes leave you, like we saw with Floyd Mayweather, once his uh, he, Floyd Miller was out of his prime, he was still beating people. And soundly, beating bigger people, stronger people, because of the skill. All right? He's not who he used to be, but he don't need to be. Don't need to be who he need to be. The guy has made over a billion dollars in revenue. Okay. And that's because of skill. Not relying on that. But guys like you look at these people, they re they relied on that all the time. They relied on it. And now I I I want to talk about this situation here with uh some of the other people, right? Um, people like her, women, relying too much on your sexuality and not skill, not skill as a wife, not skill as a lady, not skill in your industry. Then once you try to get out of your prime, now you're out here searching, you're running around. I see that with so many people, you're out of your prime. Now you're running around trying to fit in again, trying to put your life together based on bad decisions because you wanted to do things your way and it didn't work. It just didn't work. A lot of these things just don't work. Don't work. Then when it doesn't work, you get mad. Why are you mad? It doesn't work. And you try to tell young kids this. I've seen ladies back in my high school days. Every year you see this, you try to tell them what's coming down the pipe. Some ladies don't even, don't even last that long. Hitting the wall at 25. It's over. Out of the physical prime by 20. It's over. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.